Well, we're back at it again. I'm back from a training lesson, so I figured continue to do some more work on the engine compartment. Tonight I'm going to put the carburetor on the base, get that buttoned up, get the fuel lines ran, hook the electricals up, um, hook the fresh air tubes, which are right here, and then uh, crawl underneath. I still got to do the bellows for the heat and put the heater controls on and i think at that point it's just a matter of adding some oil checking everything out and firing it up and so i run a high zinc oil i typically look for rotella diesel i stopped in today and unfortunately didn't have they didn't have what i was looking for so i'll pick some up tomorrow at napa i think so not going to do a whole lot tonight, but enough to feel like I'm accomplishing something. So, so one of the things that I'm sure somebody's going to comment on is don't run a fuel filter in the engine compartment. And they're 100% correct. But I live on the edge of danger. Um, it is not the best practice if you don't maintain your fuel lines and keep an eye on that because they will or potentially could melt put fuel in the engine compartment you've got spark coming off your alternator right here plus the right amount of air that's how we've lost so many different Volkswagens I though do not care to have it underneath because I like to make sure that my fuel is clean I also make it a point every year and a half no more than two years replacing these uh, German woven fuel lines because they crack and what happens is they'll start seeping fuel underneath and these will wick the fuel into them and again with the right amount of spark right amount of air you've got a potential for fire the other thing I recommend in any Volkswagen is to have a good fire extinguisher on board some people utilize the um, blaze cut um, I think that it's a great idea. I have asked questions numerous times if anybody's actually tried one or had one go off while they're at speed. I'm a little suspect about whether or not how effective that would be, but at a stop light, if something happened, um, yes, I do think that it would extinguish the fire. The other trick, back to my silicone spray, I put a little bit of spray on the tube, let it slide over the plastic piece. I don't have any problems getting it to align. I know that's not best practice, and um, I get that. But, you know, I also understand the risks. And doing this for as long as I have, I continue to do it this way. Um, don't recommend it if you think it's going to have a fire. Err on the side of caution and make sure that you're doing everything uh, to keep your Volkswagen alive and keep it safe. So probably not the best thing to show on a video, but it's how I do it. So anyway, um, I thought I'd share that little tip with you. Always check these. Uh, the glass ones I've seen where they've leaked. Um, they've come apart and leaked. So um, if you're going to run something, honestly, it's probably the metal is probably the best up here, but then you can't see the fuel flow. And... Um, a lot of people run them up here, but a lot of people have had problems in the past. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you're new to the Volkswagen scene or engines, uh, please be cautious. We don't want to have one of your um, vehicles catch on fire and be a meme or something. So anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Uh, hoping to give somebody that's new to the hobby some at least somewhat sound advice of course i wouldn't take any advice from me i'm just a hack but um and that's how i do it everything's done on it i've got the uh fuel lines hooked up i've got the wiring done i've got all the tins hooked up the heater boxes everything is done with the exception of putting oil in it and hooking up the battery uh, fuel lines are done redid those i've got one leaky acorn nut on the bottom so like a dummy I wiped it off and then couldn't remember which one it was so tomorrow is going to be the day that I refire the car 
and hopefully all of the oil leaks or the majority of them are going to be gone a Volkswagen is a Volkswagen unless it leaks and if it's not leaking then it's out of oil so keep that in mind um, seriously though it's not been a bad project it's been a little longer than I was hoping it would take to get it done but a um, couple days or one day and a couple evenings and it's all back together um, we'll give it a shot tomorrow and then if everything turns out well I'll drive it next day to work and kind of put through its paces make sure everything's still as tight as it was before and um, if you get any questions or comments leave them below until then we'll talk to you sometime tomorrow thanks